One of the things that you want whenever you're cooking fish, you mm -hmm. want to have um, a really nice smoke point. All right? all right. So we want to get it in there uh, right when you start to see some smoke. You want your pan to be nice and hot. And you always cook with cast iron. Especially Pretty much for always. Proteins. Yeah. And I, I feel like it's the most affordable, mm -hmm. you know, best way to get really great. Uh, crispy skin For or sure. a nice sear on a chicken. Retains that heat yes, so well. Yes, it does. All right, so first I'm gonna start with my floured So warm. you only dredge that on one side? Just one side. Mm, and it's just to help keep the skin really crispy. Okay. Um, with the flour, you have to be careful mm -hmm. um, because um, it can burn. Okay. Um, so we're gonna add these guys. And you can see the difference on yeah. how much the one that didn't have the flour. That curled up a lot more. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so one of the things with bass, we wanna come in and you wanna put a little bit of weight because mm -hmm. that skin pulls together. Right. Um, so I just wanna add a little pressure to it. Otherwise you won't get all of that crispiness on the center Exactly. Part. It'll be kind yeah. of steamed in the middle and mm -hmm. not so crispy on the outside. Um, so as we add our fish to the pan, we talk about smoke point. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you add something, the fish is cold. Um, so even though it's cast iron, right. it still cools down the oil. Sure. It cools down everything. So I'm waiting for the pan to kind of come back to temperature. Mm -hmm. And then once that happens, I'm starting to see a little golden brown. Yeah. Get some nice thing. I want to turn my flame down just a little bit. Okay. All right. Almost to like a medium. Okay. Um, and I notice you're not moving the fish around the pan. Not yet. You have to be careful with this because mm -hmm. um, your skin could stick oh, at this point. Because right. uh, we don't have a, a good sear yet. Mm -hmm. um, and so you don't want to tear your skin or kind of rip it up. And you didn't score the skin at all. I didn't. You can that? do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a, a little bit of a cheat. Sometimes with yeah. striped bass, some of the skin's a little tougher. Right. So it's nice to do that. Salmon, it's nice to score it. With the black bass, I don't feel like you really have to. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm just going to come over here and grab my spoon. And we're just going to take a look. I want to be real gentle because it might not be... Oh, it's, it is pretty nice. Wow. All right. So we're still cooking. Now, one of the things as you're cooking, you'll, you'll see um, that you might have some hot spots. Mm -hmm. All right. So as I'm cooking, I like to kind of rotate just like you in baking in an oven. Right. I like to kind of move my fish around a little bit. We're like on a grill. On you a grill, have same, spots yeah. That are hotter. Um, so we just want to kind of keep moving things around from there. So you can always kind of get to the hottest part of the pan. Exactly, and I think that's the other thing is, you know, your food's going to tell you. I think sometimes people get intimidated about something. Yeah. Just take your time and, and watch. Pay attention because it's going to say it'll tell you what's happening, and we'll right. see um, if one side is hotter than the other. Mm -hmm. um, so with the flour, because I'm cooking them both in the same pan, I have to be a little careful, um, just because I don't, the flour could burn a little bit more than the one that doesn't have it. Oh, okay. Um, but I think we're kind of right on. Nice. With striped bass, you, you add your pressure and then you're done. Black bass is one of the, the fish that you kind of have to really? continually okay. kind of keep pressing. Um, and I'm not pressing super hard here. Right, so um, it's gentle pressure. Yeah. Now, will you season the other side of the fish? So, I don't season the other side until I'm ready to flip it over. Gotcha. Why um, is that? Because the salt actually can pull out moisture from the fish, causing ah. your sear not to be as nice as you want. That's a great tip. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I do, it with, I do it with everything, whether it's chicken, meat. I don't know that it makes that much of a difference with something mm -hmm. like that, but it's muscle memory. It's the way I do yeah. it. You know, I don't it's have insurance. To worry about you know, exactly. it's not going to hurt it. Exactly. All right, so I think we're kind of ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut this off. All right. All right, So I, and I'm going to come in. I'm going to do a little bit of salt on the other side. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop this right in there. Um, this pan's really hot, so where I put my butter, I'm actually just going to add a little bit of sherry vinegar to it. Um, that was and, like a drop. Yeah, just a drop. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of lemon. Um, now, is that going to affect the crispiness of the skin? So this is what this is why I'm doing it this way. Um, so <laughs> I know gonna, there's always a reason yeah. for everything you do. So I'm going to add a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of move this around here, um, and then I'm going to flip flip it. Got it. Right. Oh, that time. I'm not going to baste the fish at all now. Mm -hmm. um, and if you just want to feel, wow. I think we did pretty good without the flour too. So I think yeah. as long as you're kind of paying attention to it. It's, it, it I'd argue the, the non-floured piece almost looks a little better than the flour. <laughs> um, all right, so there we're, we're pretty much done. So I'm just going to kind of wipe this spot off here. 
That as we, incredible. And we cooked it almost three quarters of the way on mm -hmm. one side. Um, so that flip over, uh, and then we're pretty much finished. So that's finished. done. It's yeah. like an over easy egg. You right. just kind of touch it on the other side. Yep, and that's, you know, people always ask what, you know, how do I know when it's done? Really, once you have that beautiful sear, as long as it wasn't too hot of a pan, you're pretty much that's there, it. ready to go. Yeah.